the old TV noise effects that we all know has a very interesting but simple pattern that we are going to make procedurally together in this video. So fire up your computer, open Blender, make a new scene and let me show how to do it. So let's make the pixel noise first. So let's start by adding two wave textures. Let's also add mapping and texture coordinates. If we preview both textures, you can see that both are vertical, so we need to change the direction of the second texture to Y. Now let's combine them together by using a mix color node and with the multiply operation. Now what you can also do is that you can add a brightness and contrast node and you can plug it before the multiplication so we can basically tweak the pixel size by adjusting the brightness. This is a good way how you can make a custom pixel screen just by adjusting the brightness. Now we have basically the screen made out of pixels, but to make that noise effect we need basically some source of randomness for each pixel, because as you can see here all the pixels have the same value. And to randomize this value we can use a Voronoi texture. So let's add a Voronoi texture, let's change the type to Chebyshev, and let's bring down the randomness. Let's set the scale to 10, and if we take this color output and we run through it a color ramp, we can use this black and white texture to actually randomize the pixels. But before we do this, we need to solve this little issue, which is that both textures are using different scaling, which means that if we add these two textures together, the scale won't match. And even though we can see that the scale of both textures is basically 10, if I preview both of them, you can see that the scale is just different. So we need to take care of this first. So first let's align this Voronoi texture to the center. So let's add mapping node. Let's delete the texture coordinate node because we already have one. So let's plug the generated coordinate into the mapping. And to align this Voronoi texture to the center, we can actually use this location vector. So if I take the X and Y axis and I'm gonna set it to 0.05, now the texture is properly aligned with the plane, but now we need to deal with the wave texture. However, there is a pretty simple solution how to fix the scaling issue. What we need to do is that we need to set the scale of both textures to pi. So let's add the value node. Let's connect the value to the scale of both textures. So we can control the scale of both textures at once. And all we need to do is to set the scale to pi. And for some reason we actually have the same scaling as the Voronoi texture. I actually figured this out by an accident, but for some reason this actually works, because as you can see here, this basically scales the both textures on the same size. So now when we set the same scale for both textures, we can multiply the Voronoi texture with the wave textures. So let's add a mix color node, let's set the operation to multiply, and let's bring the factor to 1. Now we can tweak the black and white values to make the noise more intense. So now we are basically done with the first layer, now let's make the second layer which are basically the vertical lines. So let's frame this, and for this layer I'm just gonna use a scaled noise texture. So let's add a noise texture, let's add a mapping to the vector, and let's connect this vector to degenerate its texture coordinates. And to make the lines from this noise texture, all you need to do is to set the scale in the mapping node to 0.010. However, if you don't want any distortions, you can just set this scale to 0. Let's also make the noise 4D. And if I play with the W slider, you can basically see that now we have this intersection effect that we can actually use with the noise, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. But first, let's make the noise higher in contrast. So let's add a contrast node, and let's set the contrast to 1. Now, I will also make a bigger variation of this noise. So I'm gonna use the same method, and I'm just gonna change the scale to 1. Also let's duplicate the contrast node, and now we can multiply these two textures together. So again let's add a mix color node, let's set the operation to multiply, let's bring the factor up, and before I actually plug these two layers together, I also said in the beginning of this video that, that I want the vertical lines to basically go either up or down, and we can do this by basically changing the Y location of the textures. So let's add a combine XYZ, let's plug the vector to the location, now let's add the value node. Let's plug it to the Y location. I will plug it to the W slider of both noise textures. Let's also change the Voronoi texture to 4D. And I'm gonna plug this W of the Voronoi texture to this value node as well. So we are basically controlling multiple properties just with one value. And now let's multiply these two layers together. So again let's duplicate the multiply node and let's multiply both layers together. Now because all textures are using different scaling system, what we can do instead of scaling each texture separately is that we can join these outputs because all textures are using generated coordinates and we can add a mapping node and if you play with the scale we are basically scaling all the textures uniformly. Now we can add a mission shader and you can plug the output to the color and perhaps you can also increase the strength. 
By the way, if you feel like the lines are moving up very fast, as you can see here, you can actually lower the speed by adding a math node, set it the operation to multiply, and you can multiply the number with something like 0 0.1. And now we can just add a hash frame. And if I now play the timeline, you can see that the effect is working. And if we scale the mapping node to 10, you can see that now we have a pretty convenient TV noise. The obvious advantage of this method is that you can basically tweak this effect as you like or you can just animate it. So that's all for this video, I hope you learned something new. And if you learned something, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Also check out my Shadeguard library, which is a procedural material pack for Blender, which currently has over 80 materials, but I'm gonna keep adding materials over time. You can fully customize your material, you can make different variations, you can choose between materials and effects. I already have this TV effect inside the pack, so if you are interested you can find the link here. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. See ya.